My name is Jørgen, and I'm a technical support engineer here at Roic. I'm going to give you an introduction to our top of your cart solution and our cart 300 for the MIA 100 and 200. This solution can also be used with the MIA 250 when you use our adapter module, the AM250. Roic have made the safety configuration that works with this solution, and this is included on the USB stick. All the top modules come with the Roic Assist software tool to finish the setup of the system. It will automatically create the right footprint for the robot so it can maneuver with or without the cart. It can therefore safely navigate and make missions to pick up and return the cart. Roic has various carts and docking stations that can be used with this solution. The precision cart and docking station is ideal for fully automated solutions where the easy pullout is ideal for semi-automated cobot solutions where manual handling is needed. Both have patented locking mechanisms for secure locking. Roic has both floor and wall mounted docking stations to choose from. The car has attachment holes for your own customized equipment, for example cages or boxes. One of the benefits of using a cart with your AMR is that you can increase the maximum payload it can transport. For optimal operation, with heavier payload, we recommend our weight blocks for the extra battery compartment in the robot and the spring kit. Contact your Roic partner for guidance. For this demonstration, we have chosen the easy pull-out cart and docking station. When opening the uh, box here, you will uh, find the top module, the uh, printed manual and a USB stick with a digital menu, the safety configuration and also the Roic Assist software tool. To mount the top module on the robot, you first need to remove the protective caps from the bottom. Before moving the top module over to the robot, I will remove the top caps and the inspection lid. To make the assembly easier, we will start moving the module over to the robot, a bit offset to uh, the front, uh, but I'll need an extra hand for that. We have uh, placed the top module a bit offset to the front to make the cable connection easier. I cut the yellow cable tie, then I can uh, connect the 10 pole and the safety connector, and finally I can connect the antenna cable. With the two first cables connected, we can move the top module to its right position. With the top module in place, I can now connect the power cable and the Ethernet cable. I can now fasten the four corner bolts. With the uh, four bolts fastened, I can put on the lid and close it up. We can now boot up the robot and transfer the safety configuration from the USB stick. With the safety configuration transferred to the robot and the docking station mounted, we are ready to add the station to the robot. We will manually move the robot over in front of the docking station so it can detect the marker. Go ahead and select the right type of marker and detect it. Then we can give it the right name. With the marker added to the map, we can open the Roic Software Assist. And add the new docking station to it. Select the right equipment. In there we select the new, newly added docking station and click Create. And now it has created all the missions. With all the missions created, we can now pick up a cart from the station. When the locking bolts move out, the robot will change safety zones to fit the cart. Be aware that to improve the precision, you might need to adjust the offsets. We hope you found this short video useful. If you want to know more about this solution or other road products, go visit roic.dk.